Business Bites. Go further and grow stronger with Invest in I. Join local businesses generating billions exporting to Europe. Check your export readiness with Invest in I's free online export health check. Business Bites with Invest in I. Hello and welcome to another episode of Business Bites. I'm Caroline Fleck and this of course is the series where we dive into local businesses in Northern Ireland and talk to the faces that drive them and it's with great pleasure that our guest this week is a Block and Surgeon or who is partner at Belfast firm Endeavour Information Solutions. Now I say Belfast Block and but we've gone beyond Belfast. We'll talk about that in just a second. Welcome to Business Bites. Thank you so much for the invitation. It's really nice to be here today. So Endeavour, we have watched this company grow and grow and grow quite indicative of the demand in the market. But let's find out a little bit about you and the company's background. OK, so my name is Blohine, um, and I jointly own and manage Endeavour um, in Belfast. We also do have offices now in Edinburgh and Manchester, and we've been on the go since 2009. And really, I guess, husband and wife team started at the kitchen table and grew and grew. And again, indicative of the success and the demand for the services that we have. Um, so we are a Microsoft solutions partner and we provide solutions to businesses um, and organizations based on the Microsoft platform. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a great growth period for us and we've we're continuing to grow. And as you say, um, there is a, a great demand for the services beyond Northern Ireland, which is where we originally started. That's such a great story. I can just imagine you sitting around that kitchen table. So do both of you have a background then in technology? We both qualified with um, big four, myself as a chartered accountant and my husband as a management and IT consultant. So that's, I guess, one of our USPs is that we don't have any salespeople as such because we just go in and talk to businesses. We find out what their challenges are. Um, but yes, our background is in business and technology, and that's we com- what we combine. So explain to us, for someone like me, who probably isn't the most technology-driven person, what exactly do you do? Okay, so normally I'll go into a business um, and I'll talk to them about what are the pain points in their business? So they may say, we're getting all these sales, we just cannot handle them. And we're looking in that case at some sort of process automation. Um, Maybe it's um, they are finding it really difficult to schedule the work that they are doing, um, whether it's producing, manufacturing, selling, distributing. So it's generally going in to see where we can use um, technology to improve that. Um, As I say, it's very, it's, it's, it's great to find out how businesses work, But a lot of it is driven by process um, automation. And that's not to say we're giving robots people's jobs. We're just trying to make sure that the people that are there have meaningful jobs, things that add value. Um, You know, I have a robotic vacuum cleaner at home. It's not that's not something that adds value to my life. But um, if I'm doing it myself, but that's what that's the same approach that we take with businesses. Where where do you need to make changes to make um, growth in your business? And also, I feel with business, as business grows and it's time, isn't it, Blochen? It's about yes. um, automation services. I know that there is, there are businesses who feel, well, you know, is that going to take away personalization? Is that going to take away, you know, full hands-on approach to business? But you very quickly, as you pointed out, businesses don't have time for certain things. Yeah. And I guess that's one of the things that's really useful with technology. You can tell, um, you know, with with some of the things that you can do now, you can tell it to do things. Um, the modern uh, business applications that most organizations use, which for us is the Microsoft platform, um, they have built in things like if you have a meeting, it'll it'll be listening to you, but it'll actually come up at the end and say, look, you, you, you have the following follow up actions. Do you want me to schedule those in for you? Do you want me to send you a transcript of the meeting? I mean, that's all fantastic for us means I don't have to sit and take notes nor do I have to sit and um, schedule in reminders or the next meeting you've seen many I'm sure um IT uh, IT elements evolve is that one of the ones that you think yeah I can see this is going to change the way workforces the way businesses operate in the future Absolutely. And I 
I, f I still find technology exciting from the first days of when I got my ZX81 for passing O-levels many decades ago um, to seeing what computers can do now and technologies. Everything is cloud-based. And I still get that really exciting feeling of being able to help organizations grow um, and the amazing things technology can do. My mum's in her 80s and I know my brother actually showed her, he was over at Christmas and he was saying, you know, show me a, show me a picture of Belfast in the style, style of Salvador Dali. And she just was, her mind was blown, you know, and all of those things. And our work at Endeavour is about bringing those great wee tricks that you can do um, into the business. Uh, most people don't need Belfast in the style of Salvador Dali, but maybe they do want to have some, you know, something that will process orders for them faster, something that will automatically text um, businesses and customers about updates on where their orders are, just automatically happens in the background. And I just and find it fascinating. I think it's a lot about trust as well. You mentioned the cloud there. I mean, mm. I remember when I first had my a certain brand of phone and I had to let go of all those precious videos and photographs. And it's a real letting go and a real element of trust, isn't it? To hand over those IT solutions. It is. And I guess I'm probably more willing to trust it because I know the infrastructure, the architecture that goes behind it. So again, we're Microsoft partners, so I can only really talk about what they do, but they have um, all of their data centers. So the cloud, my mom actually thought that the cloud meant there were computers in the cloud. Um, I had to set, tell her, sorry, they're not. Um, but each of the data centers that Microsoft has, they are replicating the data to different ge geographical locations and at least one. So it's highly unlikely you're going to lose your data. And again, most of the big providers will have um, sort of procedures in place to make sure that that doesn't happen. I suppose um, we talk about AI more frequently now, and mm. there's a lot of fear about AI. And I suppose a lot of people don't even realize that they're they're already using it. Um, yes. For you, I imagine, it's it's just the most wonderful thing ever. It is fascinating for me. Um, it did freak me out a little bit at the start when I got into my car um, in the morning and my car told me where I was going to go. Um, it was, and it was giving me directions and telling me, you don't want to go that way because there's an accident there. Um, and when you start seeing that in something like that is sat nav, um, you realize how powerful that is because it's looked into my calendar and seen where I'm supposed to be going. It's also used where I normally go. And then it's also looking at the route that I normally take and working out based on road traffic information that I probably shouldn't take that one today. So yeah, most people are using artificial intel intelligence in their own life and they don't realize it. Um, but yes, it is, it is absolutely fascinating what you can do with it now. Absolutely. And we shall sit back and watch with with great interest and also great interest on what 2024 looks like for Endeavour Information Solutions. So what yeah. is the next big thing, Lohan? What's what's on the horizon? Ooh, so our growth area really is with um, Microsoft's Copilot, um, um, which is a set of services that they have more or less tagged on to every product that they have. Uh, you get it in your browser, you get an Excel Word on some of the platforms that we use as well. And it's trying to help you to um, get the most out of your time. And I think that's definitely where we're going to be going in 2024. For us, it's uh, a no brainer, I guess. Um, it's a much more controlled environment than some of the other um, sort of artificial intelligence, machine learning environments. Um, it, it basically combines your organizational data with what they call large language models. And that allows you then to target more effectively um, things like, you know, if, I, if you're a, a con in a contact center and you're on a call with somebody and you know who it is, it's going to start bringing all the different pieces of information that you have about that person in front of you. You know, maybe they've got records on CRM, so customer relationship management. Maybe you've got case management. It's going to bring all of that together for you um, and help be able to help your customers in a much faster uh, way. So, yeah, I think Copilot is going to be uh, something that's really exciting for our clients to see. And it's something that we're using in-house. Like everything we do, we try it out in our first, ourselves first. 
Well, it's been it's fascinating talking to you. You do make it sound so approachable and 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 so accessible, which of course it is to all businesses in Northern Ireland. Um, Block and Surge and our partner with Endeavour Information Solutions in Belfast. Thank you so much for taking the time out for Business Bites today. Thank you and thank you for watching. Thank you as well. Business Bites, go further and grow stronger with Invest in I. Join local businesses generating billions exporting to Europe. Check your export readiness with Invest in I's free online export health check. Business Bites with Invest in I.